We're the Wild Wains, and we're traveling around the United States in our 32-foot fifth-wheel trailer. And we are camped out at Dixon Lake, Escondido, California. Using our Instant Pot to cook up an incredible skillet spaghetti. Oh, look at that. Turns out perfect every time. And that's me, I'm Instant Pot Dave of the Wild Wains. I have a link to the recipe in this video's description. Let's start it out by draining one can of diced tomatoes. You drain it so it don't burn the bottom. Hit the saute button, add some olive oil when the pot's hot. Let's brown some ground hamburger. Add some ground turkey too. Helps round out that flavor just right. And we'll let that brown for five minutes. In the meantime, let's slice one yellow onion. And we'll add our sliced onion to our browning hamburger and turkey. Mix it in real well, scraping the bottom clean. And we'll let that brown for another five minutes on saute. Then cancel your saute. I like to use an instant pot slow cooker lid to hold the meat in while I drain the fat into our empty diced tomato can. Let's season it up with some oregano and some sweet basil. Spice it up a little bit with some chili powder. We'll add our granulated garlic and onion. You can use the powdered kind if you'd rather. And we'll wake up that basil even more with just a little bit of sugar. And we'll salt it up. And grind some pepper. Check out that grinder. Thanks, Mom. And my sister-in-law, Bree, got me this new wooden spatula. I love it. Thanks, Bree. Well, mix our ingredients real well. Don't forget our chicken bouillon. Now we can add our four cups of water. And then we'll break our spaghetti, or I like to use linguine, a little bit more fun to eat. Break it in half and put it down in layers in different directions so it doesn't all stick together. And then we'll add our drained diced tomatoes on top, spread them around a little bit. And then we'll top that off with three tablespoons of tomato paste. And we'll lit it. Seal it. And pressure cook for eight minutes. After those eight minutes are finished, release the pressure. Oh, it smells so good. Well, check that out. Stir it up real good. Scrape the bottom clean and let it sit for five minutes. And plate it up. Such a fun dinner. And it's time to eat up. Your family will go nuts over this skillet spaghetti. Well, thanks for watching our show, everybody. We do have this recipe and links to some of the cool tools and toys we use in this recipe in this video's description. Well, take care of yourselves out there. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.